Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a fantastically great treat tonight, because it's Wednesday, and part of the 365 project for a 365 stories this year, we have the fantastically great women who changed the world, part three. And can you guess who this fantastically great woman is who changed the world? And the book's by Kate Pankhurst. This woman who changed the world saw life differently. This Mexican artist's life wasn't always easy, but she turned her her experiences into unique and wonderful works of art. In 1925, aged 18, this woman was training to be a doctor when she was in a serious traffic accident. Her injuries meant that she would never be well enough to finish medical school. While recovering in hospital, she began painting pictures of herself, and her life changed forever. Painting helped her to feel better. She decided that she wouldn't waste another moment of life. She would paint it instead. Her feelings. This fantastic woman laughed a lot, but she always painted herself looking very serious. This was because she wanted to find more unusual ways to show what she was feeling. So instead, she painted curious images as clues. I was very interested in the ancient people who lived in Mexico, the Aztecs. They thought dogs acted as guides. So I painted dogs when I was thinking about making big decisions. This woman said. In another painting, her hair is all tied up with ribbons and she wanted to show how it feels to piece things back together after an argument. And that was a self-portrait with braids in 1941. People were very interested in her because she used her art to say exactly what she thought She didn't want to hide anything about herself, something unusual for a woman at that time. This is why she exaggerated her eyebrows and facial hair in her paintings. She was very proud of being Mexican and being a Mexican woman and always wore colourful traditional clothing, jewellery and elaborate hairstyles. She loved animals and had lots of pets. Family was very important to her, and she painted her pet monkey very close to her to show this in a self-portrait with monkeys, 1943. Viva la vida. She painted over 200 artworks, which are now famous all over the world. But over her lifetime, her health gradually became worse. Even when she was very ill, she still wanted to live life to the full. In her last painting, A Still Life of Watermelons, she wrote the words, Viva la vida, and this means long live life. She had a truly unique way of looking at the world, and it was this that made her one of the most important artists of all time. And who is this fantastically great woman who changed the world? Her name is Frida Kahlo. A great woman, a great artist, who changed the world on Wednesdays. Here on the Lights Out podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. And just wait till next Wednesday until we have part five 
of the fantastically great women who changed the world. And that's a book by Kate Pankhurst. Here on the Lights Out podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls. Fantastic ones at that. Good night.